And we see this all the time. A student struggles to stay afloat in the major that they're in, in the path that they're in, because they're really not motivated by that journey. Welcome to the Old Pre-Meds Podcast. My name is Dr. Ryan Gray, where I answer your non-traditional pre-med questions. This week is no different. We have a great question about pursuing medicine after graduating. Our student says, I'm approaching my junior year of college and I've decided that I want my career to be medicine. I do not have the strongest GPA, but it is above a 3.0. I am taking a very hard major and I am managing to stay afloat. With me being in my last four semesters of school, my mother is pressuring me to complete school because she is paying with her money, but I know if I change majors this late, I will be in school at least another two to three years, possibly. What are my options for going into medicine and coming back to finish my prereqs after I graduate undergrad? All right, a very, very, very common question for a student who figures out that medicine is the path that they want later on in college, which I think is relatively normal. It should be normal, right? I think we are very weird in this country and in a lot of countries, right? If you consider how like in the UK and and a lot of other countries, you go to medical school straight out of high school. It's hard to understand, especially in this country where you, you aren't locked into a specific career like in many countries. In, in this country, you are kind of free to do whatever you want, and that has pluses and minuses, including this, where you go to school potentially for one thing uh, or just general education, and then you go, oh, shoot, I need to be a physician, and then you realize, oh, shoot, there's a whole kind of path to this process. But have no fear, Dr. Gray is here to ease your concerns and get you back on your journey. So... What are the options for a student who is in this situation? Number one, as as the student says, you can just change majors, delay your graduation date, and hopefully now, and, and we see this all the time, a student struggles to stay afloat in the major that they're in, in the path that they're in, because they're really not motivated by that journey. They don't feel passionate about the path that they're in. And then as soon as that light bulb goes off and they go, oh wait, I need to be a physician. And they start taking their prereqs, which I would say are arguably pretty hard compared to most other prereqs, other majors. Uh, Obviously, pre-med I know for most places isn't a major. Notre Dame does have a pre-professional, pre-med major, so neener, neener. Um, the, the, The process of uh, the, those those classes are hard, right? Mechanical engineering, obviously, biomedical engineering, obviously, those are hard classes. With that said, what I find and what we find normally is that students struggle because they're not passionate. And then as soon as they find that passion, all of a sudden they flourish. They start doing well in their classes because they want to do well in their classes because they're learning material, and this is where the joke's on them, that they think is going to be useful for their career, right? <laughs> chemistry and biochemistry, uh, well, biochemistry because kind of a side, uh, chemistry, organic chemistry, all this stuff is a waste of time for medical school. But let me tell you that it's necessary to go through this process. And I'll put necessary in asterisks because a lot of medical schools are, are working on alternative paths. And that's great. I always love testing new things. But what I feel this path gives students is determination and resilience and, and really the motivation to figure this stuff out. It's not easy. And what's going to happen when you get a C on that midterm? What's going to happen when you fail a test? Are you going to bounce back? Because you know that being a physician is what you want to do. So options here. Stay in school. Delay graduation. That is definitely an option. Obviously, in this situation with mom pressuring to, to get out of school, well, there's things called loans, right? You can go and and get um, government loans to pay for medical or pay for undergrad and then get into medical school. You can graduate and continue down this path. My biggest concern is, are you going to be able to 
continue to do well in your classes. Now that you've made this mental switch, I need you to do well in your classes, not just, quote, stay afloat. So can you change your majors, not from the hard major that you're in, but to an easier major? Do well in the classes that you need to just graduate and not maybe with the very specialized degree that your major was going to give you, but the degree doesn't matter anyway. And graduate with some general bachelor's degree or whatever it is that you can get out with and and get good grades as close to a 4.0 as possible, graduate and get that upward trend going. And then, yes, you go back in, to the same school as a non-degree-seeking student if they'll let you, or just declare a second major if they'll let you, and just don't finish that major and take the classes that you need for medical school. Generally, it's one year of chemistry, one year of biology, one year of English, one year of physics, organic chemistry, and biochemistry. And a lot of schools are peppering in some sociology in there as well, and psychology potentially for the MCAT. So... Uh, you do that afterward at the same school, at a community college. You can do it through a formal post back if you wanted that structure, needed that structure. You don't have to do that, though. There are lots of options to go and get your prereqs. Just know that there really is no right path and right journey. It's whatever works for you within the time frame that you want, within the budget constraints that you have to figure out if this is... Uh, the right path for you to figure out which which path you should take, staying in school, graduating as fast as you can, and then just retaking classes, again, with loans or whatever you need to, to get off of mom's dime uh, or through a formal post back, whatever it may be. There are lots of options. This is super common for students figuring this out later in the game. You're asking the right questions. Keep going down this path and hopefully you'll get in to medical school. Don't forget to check out Mapped M-A-P-P-D as this episode is out. Mapped also should be out, and I'll, I'll ask you like a question because I'm recording this in advance, so I really don't know, but I'm hoping. So uh, go check out mapped.com, M-A-P-P-D.com. You'll see if it is available, or if it's not, you can uh, sign up for the wait list as well. Hope you have a great week. We'll see you next time here on the Old Pre-Meds podcast.